Well, hello, my dears. Good morning. Welcome to the rooster's nest for his morning crow, where I draw on a beard and a mustache, and I sip on a coffee, and, uh, and feel okay for a little bit. I read from this book, The Book of Awakening, by Mark Nepo. Thank you very much, Mark Nepo. Um, yeah, it's just like a little bit of a reprieve from the crazy out there and the crazy in here. Um, yeah, this book is really good because it has an insight for every day of the year. And it reminds us just about like the simple beauty that is life. No matter what, life is freaking beautiful. Uh, so what we fretten for, you know, like even if, even if we all fail miserably, it's still, it's still a beautiful, a beautiful unfolding of existence. So like, while, while we have to make sure we feel our emotions fully and we don't dismiss them or anything like that, we do have to feel our emotions. We also, we also need to take a step back and be like, Hey, you know what guy? It's okay, baby. It's going to be okay no matter what, right? So that's what we're here to remind ourselves. <laughs> and, uh, and, and yeah, and then at the end, I sing a song just for fun because I like to sing and I used to perform a lot. Um, it's a good outlet, you know? And if anybody feels like being serenaded to by a cute drag king baby, then, then here you go. I'm right here. Call me. Uh, okay, so July 7th. Oh, Mark Nepo, you always know what to say. <laughs> it says, patience. I have just three things to teach. Simplicity, patience, compassion. These are your greatest treasures. Simplicity, patience, compassion. Patient with both friends and enemies, you accord with the way things are. Mm -hmm. That was by Lao Tzu. I definitely have heard that name before. I know that Lao Tzu is like a renowned spiritual teacher, or at least an author. <laughs> Anyways, just an ignorant hillbilly over here that really uh, appreciates the simple things and, uh, you know, I'm also very spiritual, but I just don't, I just don't know names. Okay. I don't know people. Here we go. So it says patience is the second of Lao Tzu's central teachings and it is a bit hard. No. And it is a hard bit of wisdom to accept for the place of waiting is always trying and very difficult to live out. Yet, quite honestly, it is waiting that saved my life. Clearly, the most demanding and rewarding practice I have encountered. Wow, Mark Nepo. Holy, those are, those are some powerful words. Had I not withstood the confusion and indecision and ambiguity and the pain and alarm of imagining the worst during the endless diagnostic gauntlet, I would never have made it to the right course of treatment that carried me through my experience of cancer. Had I not waited, which is different than avoiding what needs to be done, I would not be able to write these very words to you. For I would have undergone unnecessary procedures that would have se severed me from my memory and my ability to speak. Holy. Fear wants us to act too soon. But patience, hard as it is, helps us outlast our preconceptions. This is how tired soldiers, all out of ammo, can discover through their inescapable waiting that they have no reason to hurt each other. Does that happen, though? I don't know. It is the same with tired lovers and with hurtful and tiresome friends. Given enough time, most of our enemies cease to be enemies because waiting allows us to see ourselves in them. 
Patience devastates us with the truth that, in essence, when we fear another, we fear ourselves. <laughs> when we distrust another, we distrust ourselves. When we hurt another, we hurt ourselves. When we kill another, we kill ourselves. Mm -hmm. All one. <laughs> So when hurt or afraid or confused, when feeling urgent to find your place on this earth, hard as it is, wait. And things as you fear them will, more often than not, shrink into the hard, irreplaceable beauty of things as they are, of which you have no choice to be a part. I think he means to be a part of, not like to be a part. <laughs> Oh, Mark Nepo, thank you for that insight. Patience, simplicity, compassion. Okay, so now there's a meditation. Sit quietly and bring to mind a situation, now resolved, that required you to be more patient than you were prepared to be. If you can, recall how you viewed the situation and the people involved. When it first presented itself, when your patience ran out, when the situation resolved itself. How did waiting change you? What, if anything, did waiting give you? It's it's good that he acknowledged how hard it is. Because I think that, uh, yeah, no matter what, life is hard. To do the thing is hard. To wait for the thing is hard. So thanks, Mark Depot. That was real good insight. Yeah. Well, what else do I have to say? <laughs> I think that's the, the... I don't have a whole lot to talk about, so we're going to just go ahead and sing the song. Today, my choice was Hey Jude by the Beatles. So enjoy. Hey Jude, don't make it bad Take a sad song and make it better Remember to let her into your heart Then you can start to make it better Hey Jude, don't be afraid You were made to go out and get her The minute you let her under your skin Then you'll begin to make it better Anytime you feel the pain, hey Jude, refrain. Don't carry the world upon your shoulders. For well, you know that it's a fool who plays it cool. You're making his world a little colder. Na 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 na. Hey Jude, don't let me down. You have found her. Now go and get her. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. So let it out and let it in. Hey, Jude, begin. You're waiting for someone to perform with. I've never known those words. And don't you know that it's just you? Hey, Jude, you'll do. The movement you need is on your shoulder. Na, 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 na. Yeah. 
hate you. Don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let it run in your skin. Then you'll begin to make it better, 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 better. Na 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 Hey, I actually thought of uh, something I did want to say today, na, 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 which is just like a funny little fact about this bow tie. Uh, I got it at a thrift store like ages ago before I started doing drag, which has only been like a few months, by the way. Um, and just like the other month, I looked at the bow tie and it says rooster on it. I was like, what? Well, it was just meant to be. Me and this bow tie were made for each other. Hey, Jude. Na, 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 Hey, Jude. This is like the longest outro. I've ever had to be patient in. Ow. One thing you do really have to watch with these things is that they can chip your teeth. So be careful. Don't uh, don't play on them willy, willy nilly. Well, I can teach you how to do this real quick. You put your teeth, this, these parts against your teeth, and then this thing when you flick it, it like goes inside the cavity of your mouth, like right between your teeth, and then you flick your tongue around to make it make the sound. Yeah. Holy crap, it's still going. Patience, my child. I guess I can fade it out. Yeah, the good old fade out. Seriously. That's like forever. Can you imagine? It's actually a karaoke version. Can you imagine being up on stage and just for so long? You're like, God, please, can someone get me a drink? <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. Well, my friends... If you join me, thank you for being here. I really do appreciate the company. <sighs> if you have any requests of a song you would like for me to sing the next time, please comment in the comment section and I will, I will sing what you want me to sing. I'm like that. Remember, you can never fail if you never give up. Everyone is someone and... If you ever feel down, all you have to do is say, <laughs> and uh, I'll be with y'all on that. Bye.